In this final video, we're going to summarize some of the statistics that we were trying to verify from the readings for this module. I've tried to color code the sources for each number as best I can here. So the blue numbers are from the officer shooting data that we got from Kaggle, and the black numbers here are from the uh, Census Bureau. And the first set of numbers uh, shows what we computed in the previous video and what we really should have computed. So the way we read the original statistic that was supposed to be computed or the original probability was that we wanted to know the probability a black person would be shot by police. And if you dig a little bit deeper into probability theory, what that translates to, if you've ever taken an elementary probability class, this, this verbiage will sound very familiar to you. It's conditional probability. So what that boils down to is we want the probability that a person will be shot by police given that the person is black. What we actually computed in the previous video was the probability that a person was black given that they were shot by police. So we computed something slightly different in the previous video. And while this is a completely valid thing to compute, and we based it on what I would say is pretty accurate data, it's not what we were really looking for. What we really wanted to know was the probability of a black person being shot by police. So we needed to take that out of you know, the total number of black people in the United States, which we got from the Census Bureau. And so, I'm ready to compute this probability, 491 divided by 40,893,369. And so we see this probability is about 0 0.0000 That's our approximate probability, approximately 0.0012%. If we want to go to four decimal places in the percentage. What we were trying to compare that to, to look at statistic one, is that we wanted to see if this number is more or less than the probability of a white person being shot by police. So how we computed that in the previous video, what we were really computing was the probability of a person being white given that they were shot by police. And that's not what we really meant. We meant the probability of a person getting shot by police given that they're white. So this is the probability that we want to compute. So 960 divided by 197,479,450. So this probability is approximately 0 0.0000486. One or about zero point zero 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 four nine percent. And so going back to the idea from the from lecture number three in this module, if we want to say that blacks are some number of times more likely to be shot by police than whites. We have to divide, take the bigger number divided by the smaller number. And this is the bigger number. These are both very small percentages. It is not super highly likely in general that you're going to be shot by police. But this number is bigger than this number. So it is more likely for blacks to be shot by, by police than whites. 491 divided by 40,893,369, that's the probability here, divided by this probability, 960 divided by 197,479,450. So 2 point, let's say, 4, 7 times more likely. Of course, there are other factors that you can adjust for, but if we're solely basing this on race, then we've found from the data directly that blacks are 2.47 times, so almost 2.5 times more likely to be shot by police than whites.
This means that the assertion in the reading that whites are more likely to be shot by police than blacks is incorrect. If we're basing it solely on race, that is a false statement. The other statistic that we were interested in trying to get an exact computation for was the one that was mentioned in the Daily Show clip that we watched. And so here are the estimates and their sources. Uh, these are coming directly from the previous video. The probability that a person shoots and kills an officer giving that the person is an adult black man. So from the U.S. Census, we got the number of adult black men. And then from the data on Kaggle, we got the number of police officers who were shot and killed. And then the probability that a person shoots a black man, given that that person is a police officer. And so we got the number of black men shot by police from the Kaggle data set that we used in the previous computation, same one. And then we got the number of police officers from that Bureau of Justice Statistics report. And here, these are not really comparable. This is not going to give us an accurate yes or no on whether or not that claim, the claim was that number one here is 18.5 times more likely than two. We can't definitively say that this is correct or incorrect because we could only find data on officers getting shot and killed in the line of duty, not every officer who was shot in the line of duty and survived. So that number would be much higher here. However, there are a lot more black men in the United States than there are police officers. 14 million versus a quarter of a million. And so because these denominators are so different by several orders of magnitude, unless there's some exorbitant amount in the numerator here, it is highly unlikely. So if we, instead of using this 99 that we found that we know is not accurate, if we try to find a more accurate picture, and we put a question mark here, if I want to know how many police officers would need to be, so X will be the number of police officers shot by black men. If the claim is true, what does X have to be? Well, that would mean that X over 14.3 million would have to be 18.5 times our probability here. 470 divided by 750,340. And solving for x, this isn't that difficult actually. We just multiply by 14.3 million. So x would have to be 18.5 times 470 divided by 750,340 times 14.3 million. So 18.5 times 470 divided by 750,340 times 14,300,000. So there would have to have been over this time period 165,709 roughly police officers. So I have no idea, honestly, if this is possible or feasible that 165,000 police officers were shot in a one-year period. If that's true, then this claim is true. We know that only 99 were shot over and killed over a two-year period, but we don't have any data about how many were shot and didn't die. If over that period this is the number of officers shot, then that statistic that was claimed in the video would be accurate. Otherwise, it would be inaccurate. So the two claims that we singled out, the one from reading number four, that whites were more likely to be shot by police than blacks, we found in the data that that was an inaccurate statement based solely on race. The data was inconclusive for the second 
claim that we sought to prove or disprove. We couldn't find good enough data on that specific statement. On a related statement, we found that that was false, but we did find out what the true number would need to be in order for that to be true. We just have no way of verifying if this is true or not. Remember, we're talking about if the claim is true. This is not a fact. This is if the statistic is true, this is what X would have to be. But we have no source for finding X, so we can't definitively say one way or the other.